Okay, I think we can agree that putting your references at the end of an essay is not much fun. Um, a lot of teachers ask for references to be put in a certain style, like MLA style or APA style or Chicago manual style, and you spend hours of your time looking over documents like this one from OWL, which are great. I mean, they show you um, detailed step-by-step step, if you're taking a page from a website or a page with an unknown author, but you just spend hours of your life, so stop doing that. I'm going to show you something that changed the way that I do my references. The first thing is, is that you need to have a Gmail account and you need to go to Drive and you start, you create a document and I'm going to name it just for fun, I'll just name it References, just so I can find it later. If you've never created a Google document, you will probably will after you do this. Uh, okay, so next thing is you want to go to Tools and find Research and turn that on. You'll see a tab appear on the right side of your screen. This Research tab has functions or filter results, Google, so the automatic or default setting is everything, but we're going to look to click on Scholar and not only that, it's got a little pull down menu that allows you to change the citations. It has MLA, APA, or Chicago. So I'll demonstrate with APA just for example. Now I've been collecting a bunch of notes together in a, in a document here and um, maybe I'll just take an, a, an example from, from here. There's one by a gentleman named Michael Wanacott. Um, I really like this article, so I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to right-click and copy that text. I'm going to move right over to my Google document, and I'll click on the right-hand side and paste it right in here. Now, I know that I had the word good in there on my document, so I'm just going to edit this. And, and you'll see as it's doing this, it gives a little spinning wheel beside the, the end of the entry that says it's kind of recalculating and figuring out what you have and this would be if you wanted to search for that online specifically but underneath you can see that here's an entry uh, on the web cited by 20 this one is actually the correct um, it was an application brief that I was reading and it asks you if you want to cite it as a footnote well of course we do but first just to keep track because there's a lot of references I'm just going to right click and paste here one more time because then it gives me my, and I'll just get rid of some stuff here, um, because then I'll, I'll be able to remember which footnote is for which entry. I'll click at the end, I move back over to my side, side uh, um, task pane over here where it says this has been cited by eight people. I'm going to click cite as footnote, so I guess I'll be the ninth. And I see a one up here next to the entry. If I scroll down the page, there's my APA style. Right. You can do this again and again, and um, you just keep adding the references that you have. So uh, I'll try this one. High school dropouts returning to school. I'm going to copy that text, and I'll just get rid of all this stuff and Control V to paste. Melanie Raymond, high school dropouts returning to school. That, uh, yeah, it was a Tourism Canada. And so I'm just going to paste that right back over here and set that up a little bit, clean it up, go to the end of the line, my cursor blinking, and cite as footnote. Now, not to say that this is seamless. There were times where I tried to find, here's a good one actually, I tried to find this one, this article, and I had trouble. So let me share you how to get out of trouble. Um, where did it go? I'll go back to here. I'm going to paste that in here. Paste. And oh, you know what? It came this time, it did come up uh, with the correct. <laughs> crazy how it figures these things out as you go. Um, so here's the correct um, reference here. Immediately, it pops up. And it does all the work for you, even italics is done for you, everything. 
But uh, in the case where you do have problems, you may want to open the original uh, document. So here is actually the original document, and I actually just copied the title right out of here and pasted it right in here. I'll just delete that and paste it back in. And I can see that it actually, it, the spaces matter. So if you notice that no spaces got put between words, you have to go through it carefully. Inspect it really carefully, take a look. Uh, oh, there's a space needed. There's too many spaces. And as I do this, it refines the, the search. And there it is. It came back with the same web, web article. So I'll cite it as, as a footnote. And down at the bottom, number three, Everything's in italics, period spaces. Thank you, Google Scholar and Google Documents. You save my life. And a big shout out to Ryan Layton. Ryan Layton, you showed me how to do this, and you are the king. This is Mel Burgess, and I hope that you enjoy uh, Google Doc uh, research. APA or Chicago style MLA citations. Thanks for watching.